As coalition negotiations continue in Jerusalem, Israel's new ruling government will most likely include the ultra-Orthodox Shas and UTJ parties. But according to a recent poll, that doesn't sit well with the majority of the population. And actually, the Chidush Organization for Religious Pluralism found that a whopping 66%, or two-thirds of Jewish voters, would instead prefer a unity government consisting of Likud and the rival Blue and White Party, excluding the ultra-Orthodox from the coalition altogether. In fact, the majority of Blue and White and Israel Beitenu voters were in favor of such a configuration as well, while only half of Likud voters agreed to such a deal. And the survey was based on telephone responses from some 600 people, giving the study a 4% margin of error. Additionally, the results aren't really even that surprising, as the inclusion of the ultra-Orthodox or Haredim in the government has long been a source of controversy. Hot-button topics like reform conversion, egalitarian prayer, and mandatory conscription for all have basically been deadlocked for years because of the Orthodoxy's staunch devotion to maintaining the status quo. But with coalition negotiations in full swing, it's expected that debates regarding issues touching on religion and state will be the most contentious. And Likud has already met with Israel Beitenu and the religious parties, but was not able to come up with a compromise on these matters. After the Passover holiday, though, Likud will again meet with Shas, UTJ, the centrist Kulanu, and the Union of Right-Wing Parties, where the very same debates are bound to come up as a stumbling block. Which again leads many to question why there are no plans for Likud to meet with the Blue and White, who will likely head the opposition, especially given this most recent poll.